Welcome back to another episode here in our Houston Texans franchise. It's about to be a big one. About to be going up against the Indianapolis Colts, a 7-5 team that if they lose this game against us, may be out of the running for the division. Might even be guaranteed that they can't win the division title based on the tiebreakers and the fact that we would have three games ahead of them with only three games remaining. So if we win this game against the Colts, I'm almost certain it's guaranteed that they cannot win the title. Now, that doesn't say anything, especially... Okay, maybe not anymore. They just they just won. So, forget anything I said. I was going to say, maybe the Titans still have a chance too, but forget anything I've said. It, they, everyone's in it, all right? Weekly players. We got in a weekly award. Mr. Pierce with two touchdowns and over 200 total yards. Very close to 200 total yards, like in the 199. Uh, got an award for the week. Judon was great, Parsons was great, and Prescott were pretty damn good as well. And uh, obviously Pierce might get a little XP boost, maybe gets an upgrade, I don't know. We've already had a lot of those, so it wouldn't surprise me if they're like, relax, okay, relax. You don't need any more upgrades. Let's take a look at our opponent, the Colts, see if they have any injuries, which they do. Their center, Ryan Kelly, definitely helps out our young DTs who have been, when healthy, pretty good this season. They've actually been pretty damn good. Uh, but let us go into the trench boost, see what kind of goal they have for us. Is it rushing yards? Is it passing yards? I don't know. I've never actually had one of these when playing. Huge day on the ground for you last. Yep, it's going to be rushing yards, it seems like. How many? Does it just say? It? Does it tell me? The amount of rushing yards your team has against the Colts will determine how much XP each offensive lineman receives. I think you need 150 plus. I know there's one that's like under 149. I don't even know. Uh, but 150 plus, I think is the main goal to be able to hit this. Looking at what they do well, it's a lot apparently. This offense looks very good on paper. The run game is tough to stop because they are going to probably run some read with uh, Anthony Richardson. And then attacking their defense, Buckner and Grover Stewart are actually kind of a problem. So if we're going to run, it would probably be to the outside. And because of that trench boost, it's a pretty significant thing. I'm going to rock that for our uh, focus for the week. And uh, I think we're going to keep all these receivers in and hopefully get ourselves maybe a superstar dev. I haven't seen any DevOps from these, but they apparently exist. What do you mean I don't have any upgrade points after practice? What is this? Scam! Of course, Boyer, still no breakout for him either. And he's got super high upside, and he seems to be improving over the weeks. Catching's getting better too. And for a guy that didn't even start every single game... On par, close-ish to 1,000 yards on the season. Kind of need him to get 100 yards per game, which hasn't really happened, to be fair. So, maybe not, but close enough to, to have a chance. And as far as the gameplay sliders go, I keep dropping that run block slider for us because it seems like our run game is just still as good as ever, no matter what. And I've imported these, as you can see, imported the sliders and the uh, all matter difficulty. This is where we're rocking right now as uh, last couple games have been pretty good, pretty close. So uh, this is basically it at the moment. Intentional grounding, of course, off. So the AI will throw it away because otherwise they feel like the, everything's a grounding and they won't throw it away, which, you know, it's it's uh, a small price to pay. I'm sick of the lack of primetime games. This game should be flexed, all right? This is a hell of a game and they're ruining it with the lack of a nighttime setting. Nico Collins having a great year. 11 touchdowns, 1,400 yards is ridiculous for a, a number one wide receiver for Madden. I usually struggle to get my number one wide receiver involved, and let me tell you, he is uh, not following that freaking mold. He is killing it, and uh, Rudolph, guys like Ford, they're all starting to get involved a bit now too, and... I don't know, this offense might be set. I mean, maybe a different, you know, set of offensive linemen, maybe a new running back backup or something. But realistically here, the skill positions are kind of set. I really don't feel like we could replace anyone at this point. So we'll see what happens. But overall, I like where the, the receivers are at. We just obviously have to keep developing them. They're a little low of an overall, but they might be the guys across the board. We're going to be kicking this one off as well to the Colts, see what they got for us. Hopefully not a lot of points. But we've seen that offense on the numbers, and uh, on paper, they look like a challenge, all right? They look like they could be tough. But anyways, let's get off on to it and see what uh, what's going to happen here. And I don't know what get off onto it means. That sounds dirty as hell. But uh, Anthony Richardson, the quarterback one, obviously, for the Colts. I haven't really paid attention to how well he's played, but I imagine it's decently. 
yeah, I mean, that's decently, right? 3-1 to one, uh, with 3,000 yards, it's not bad at all, especially for a rook. Well, we, I mean, kind of, second-year rook. Bring a little bit of heat. Obviously, Pittman has caused us some problems over the last two seasons. We get a little bit of a push, and right out the gate, Jonathan Taylor spinning off of a tackle, joking another for 41 on the first play. Absolutely burning down the sideline on the wheel route, and, I mean, who is he even being covered by, or if you even want to call it that, it looks like Scott. He's fast, but his agility is not great. Ward missing the tackle, and it just the rest is history there. That's a hell of a play. On the first snap, had the whole team turn around. Come with the blitz on this one. I can't remember if we ran a blitz the first play. I think we did. We brought a five. This one's a lot more than five. And he's going to go back to it, but Scott is going to get the over-the-shoulder pick. Anthony Richardson's on the ground. Scott off to the races. Nobody in front of him. Can he be Landry? No, it's not Landry. It's Isaiah Likely, and he will for the electrifying redemption pick six. The rookie Scott last second getting over to Taylor and that will be a touchdown. Beautiful play to get over there last second. If he floats us to the end zone, we don't get to it, but throws it just like he threw the first one and Scott learned the lesson, got the hands on it. Anthony Richardson probably being hit as he's throwing it as he was blitzed. And because of that, nobody's back there to stop it. And Scott takes it back for a touchdown more than enough to redeem himself for the big 41-yarder. All right, Anthony Richardson and the Colts offense have some making up to do as there goes the read option that like we talked about. Anthony Richardson only going to gain a yard, though, as Kenneth Murray is playing better and better as the weeks go by. And we thought maybe he's just like a bandaged linebacker until we can get enough assets to, to pick up a couple linebackers, and that's not the case. He has been very good for us. Scott, really good tackle Taylor losing two. The matchup right now is definitely leaning in favor of Scott. We got Griffin on Pierce. Going to try to press him. Damn, he is... Oh, my God. That route was filthy. I thought it was going to be something more to the inside, and it absolutely was not, and I got absolutely torched. Kind of leaned inside a little bit, and... Well, the rest is the rest. Okay, what can I say? That's, uh... Not great. And oh my lord, Will Anderson. They thought he was going to drop back. He gets him for a loss of four. Let's see if Pearson can get in there now with the power move. Oh, that's a good throw to the outside. Nice shot to the knees. Doesn't even get back to the original line day of scrimmage. Third and 11 now as the Colts, you know, found their way into a first down and then just have fallen apart since. Going to go with Will Anderson off the edge. I thought that was a screen. He's got some speed. Won't get there in time. We missed the time. I'm just like a seller. I'm just the worst. Open field tackling, it is hard. It is really hard, but I got to just let them do it on their own. I'm just a bot. Like, I don't know what it is, but, like, they just run in a straight line, and for some reason, like, my overcorrection just sells. Like, behind line... Come on, guys. Behind line of scrimmage like that, I can do well because they're kind of, like, forced into one spot, but... I just over-pursue or something in the open field. I don't know what it is, but either way, it's going to lead to another first down and not one we should be proud of letting go. And I'm stuck on the line. Can't. Oh, we can. And then that I can't really do much about. We were still kind of like in the finesse move animation. It wouldn't let me turn around in time. All right. Harris to the outside. Let's see if Will Anderson wants to get in there again. Spin move does nothing. Can't contain the edge. Will Anderson to the edge. Will not get him. And Anthony Richardson still running, sliding to the 10. The only guy that tackled him is his own guy, Pierce. Three for 30 for Anthony Richardson. Will Anderson's fast. Anthony Richardson is faster. Let's see if Petrie can cover Pierce one-on-one. -on -one. I have a feeling the answer is no. And to the outside. Oh, I thought he actually had a chance at that still. Pretty good press. Kind of jammed him at the line and threw off the whole timing. I thought he still had that, though. Like I said, it was still pretty scary. Ward going against Likely one-on-one. -on -one. Doesn't really have that much size on him, but still gains a few. Quentin Nelson now injured. They have no center, or they have their starting center out, and potentially Quentin Nelson, as if this offensive line couldn't get any worse. They have a good right tackle, and that's almost it at this point. The rest are pretty mediocre. And it won't matter as they will get a wide open Isaiah Likely for the touchdown to tie it up. Finally, we get to play a little bit of offense. Wow, it's been a while. And Kenyon did an okay job, but we only gained two. 
Pierce last week, pretty damn good as he ended up getting himself an AFC Player of the Week award on top of more stats on the very good season that he's had so far. I don't really know about that C. I'd rather just go with the curl. And that's a perfect throw. Starting to get a little better at those. I mean, getting the timing so good that he actually gets to turn around and, like, move upfield before the DB's on him. Play action. Rudolph's in a pretty good spot here, but what will the strong safety do? He actually backs up really hard. We move out into a bad position because I'm an idiot, and then we throw it away. I do like getting closer to the throw. I don't know why. It just kind of helps. But, like, yeah, it's just I just forced this into a situation. And that is a perfect timing ball. Just a missed throw by CJ Stroud. Went for the touch pass, which I know touch pass is a little bit harder to throw, but that needs to be hit. Four down territory potentially on this run. And nobody gets number 97, so never mind. All right, maybe those run block sliders are actually working here. I mean, three receivers, no linebackers directly over the center, or even close to the line of scrimmage. I mean, that seems like a potential first down, let alone a few yards. Couldn't get any of that. Murray chasing down, perfectly finding the gap, catching the center, slacking. And we're going to gain nine yards on the very first play after the punt. Scott already has a pick six. Maybe going to add to that and get himself a player of the week award. That's a pretty good timing ball and an even better catch by Downs. I can't believe he caught that, though. The throw was just like... Yeah, the throw's good, the timing's good, but it's a tough one for the receiver who never gets his head around, really. He's going to potentially blow this up. To the outside, got to... Oh! Taylor wide open, dropping a first down, and we get a break from Downs catching the unprobable to Taylor dropping the impossible. Like, the, the drop was impossible. Obviously, that, that should not have been a hard catch. Wow, Ford really got caught there. I know they kind of had a little bit of an angle, but I thought he would have definitely kicked it up a gear and got past them, but no, no, no. It will be at the 19-yard line. Screw that, I guess. Screw the route running. Why not? The route running? I don't know what the hell I'm saying. That's a bad decision. Good try by Ford getting blasted. Reds are starting to get there a little bit, and the coverage isn't bad. Obviously, not a great decision on the, the route decisions. The route combination was pretty deep. We got some time. Not going to hit the throw. Where does it say we got some time? And, you know, he gets off the edge and I get the sad. All right, struggling a little bit here. Decision making's not great. Route running's been not super great either. Nothing's been great. Let's just put it that way. Boyer might still have a chance. I mean, that's a hell of a fight. Fourth and one. I mean, the defense has done well. Fourth and one. If the run's not free, I might call a timeout. Run definitely is not free. Do we trust this? Screw it, I'm going to trust it. Boyer. Boyer. Got us there. Got us past. Not a bad play. A little worried about the timing on that throw, though, but it works out. If he stops, we hand it. That's a keeper. Oh, right. That, yep. I, okay. Um, I've learned my lesson. Every other time in that situation, I would go down. That one, I decided, hey, let's see if we can break a tackle. Sweet decision, dude. I'm stuck on Murray. Come on, Christian. Good tackle by Hudson. Gains nothing, technically. Overall, zero yards on three carries. Dropped a big pass for fourth down and four punt. Uh, and we're in the second quarter right now, and a pretty close one. Selling a little bit on our side, kind of giving it to them more than, like, them just beating us, them taking it. A couple of bad decisions, especially that decision to, you know, instead of sliding, take the hit and try to break a tackle that would have led to, like, a gain of two extra at best. And Will Anderson, no! Stingley's going to miss, and Will Anderson's the only guy to hit there. They will call a late flag, though. It might be a holding. Illegal block in the... Yeah, you freaking cheaters. That's the reason why you guys got it, obviously. Unbelievable. The things people do to win these days, it's just pathetic. I mean, it's just... There's no camaraderie these days. And with the teamwork, we actually might have a chance to stop them because of that penalty. Thought it was going to be kind of a stupid, you know, penalty that leads to nothing. But you just never know. 
Needs to get up a little bit closer to the line, though. I need Ward to get out there a little bit, too. Let's go Pearson. And we can't get out there, although what a chance. Petrie blast Taylor. Five for three yards. But he's still in a position to potentially score here. After, once again, the very bad decision to break a tackle as the read option quarterback. And that's a pretty good play as Pittman, you know, showing you why he's got a lot of touchdowns against us. Not the fastest guy in the world, but those types of plays are killer in the goal line. And, well, if he was in the goal line, they would have scored a touchdown. So keep that in mind. Let's see Pearson. Come on, Pearson. There's nobody out there. Good job. Murray, once again, just killing it. Six for six. That's one yard per carry for any of you math experts out there. Not very good. See if Scott can get another one. I think two picks, one being a pick six, is automatic player of the week. Might already be automatic player of the week. Anthony Richardson doing some things and getting cooked by Scott. Gains two, but that's still a hell of a hit. Bringing the blitz on the side that they are... Uh, you know, having the wide receivers. And over the middle, maybe the pressure got there as he overthrows a wide open player. And just like that, we will be forcing the field goal. I do hope the, I mean, it definitely will count. I was about to say, I do hope the read option counts because right now our regular run game is looking like some booty. Okay, I don't know what the hell that was. I thought he was going to pull the old Kenny Pickett and just keep running. What we need is a damn, like, wide receiver, like, sweep. Please, Rudolph. Nice. Perfect throw. Great catch. Brent's tall, but not the fastest. Still held up his end of the bargain pretty well there. And let's go with another read option, which is, I mean, for some reason the theme today. And Stroud keeping on these read options is even a bigger theme, but gaining the first down, so it's fair enough. Just don't fumble. Just don't fumble. We're all happy. Unless you're on their team. And I guess they're going to go with the play action. This seems like a long play action, though. Am I wrong? I am the opposite of wrong. I am not wrong at all. Brevin Jordan gains four on a madly long read option play. Or freaking play action. That's the one. Not everything's a read option. Relax. You know, this is all... Let's all take a breath. and uh, Stop calling everything a damn read option. As Pierce has really had nowhere to go. Which is kind of fitting. It's a pretty good damn D-line. Like, what's their worst thing? Their right end? I don't even know who it is. But he's already made a play today. I mean, he's kind of open, right? That's a great throw. Collins slips away. Crossover move into the end zone, and we're back on top. Beautiful throw. Really good break after the tackle uh, catch. And uh, the rest is history for the touchdown. Oh, they're going empty. Things are getting a little wild here at Caillou's house. Anderson not going to make the play. The tight end has really been their biggest name here. Uh, Isaiah likely is doing the job, but if they got like a premier tight end, it would become a problem. We suck against tight ends. Evan Ingram uh, will tell you that himself. And uh, thankfully, even though Isaiah likely is not doing too badly, first down for Taylor, uh, he's not the most dynamic guy. So, uh, you know, his big play potential is kind of limited, which, I mean, I, I, I'm thankful. All right, I'm thankful. Two receivers, top two are actually not bad. They're out there. And Scott kind of running away from the play, but... You don't want to get out there because if he decides to dart it to the outside, there's not many players can catch Taylor, so you kind of need to cut him off. And that's what we did. Maybe lost an extra yard of ground, but in the end, stopped him from with you know getting that big play, which he started the game out with, after all. And a little bit of pressure right into the arms of Pearson. I'm going to be honest with you, Glover was the reason why that one exists. But you know what? Pearson will take the credit. Give me some... Jo oh, well, you we can see their route. That's not fair, is it? And sacked again! Pearson having a start now. Okay, that one was severely earned. I don't know what severely earned means, but you know, he earned that one. Maybe doing too much. Yeah, maybe doing a little, a little, little a too much. Maybe, maybe just a tad. As Nico Collins has 56 yards and a touchdown. Should have himself a breakout. Uh, we'll star Dev by the end of the year. Wish he would have had one earlier. But what can you do? <laughs> People are like, well, it just uh, forces Dev. Seems pretty straightforward to me. As Pierce is fighting so hard to gain four yards when his teammates are like, I am not letting you get this. You are not having a good day. Just accept it and move on. But as you can see here, I mean, we're still getting some first down yardage. 
So, I mean, I do kind of like the harder difficulty on the uh, the run. So, I don't know. I don't really have time. That's a tough one. Oh, it's a dot, though. Oh, I didn't know he had a chance to get by. Don't know why I'm even calling a timeout there, either. We don't even need it. I thought they were going to pick that up. I thought it was going to be a really close call, and it just simply wasn't. Go around Collins. I mean, he's just too deadly at that, but drops it. Wow. I mean, Nico Collins has caught the craziest catches for our team for years now. And that's the one he drops. I mean, of all the ones to drop, is that really the one? I guess to him it was. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, I got caught seeing nothing. I could be looking at Tank Dell on this one. He's need to gain about 10. Is, is running the ball viable with a really good kicker like Fairburn? Come on, blockers. Oh, you idiots. You idiots, but Pierce will do enough. He gains about nine. That should be a field goal, right? I don't know why they don't want to call a timeout, but 58 yards. I mean, I think this is good. That looks pretty good to me. Kick is up, and it will be good. That's a long kick, but it is, for the most part, a dome. There might be some open parts to it, but unless there's a damn tornado or a hurricane coming through, I think. I think we're fine. Six seconds left in the second. The uh, squid kind of went in their favor, to be honest. So there is a little chance for them to, like, get 10, 20 and turn it into a Hail Mary. Uh, that, it... W huh? Huh? What the hell was that? I looked away because I was obviously looking to prevent the touchdown. Obviously, they took too long to, you know, turn that into a field goal. And then the ball just isn't caught. I don't... Was it just a bad ball by Anthony? Oh, my Lord. That's terrible. Either way, we're going to change the focus on running inside and defending the medium pass. I probably should have defended the short pass. No Igbenogany on the return up by seven. Colts being held pretty nicely here by our defense. And Noah is not going to get out there enough. Gets to the 19. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what the hell this is. I think this is a read option, right? So if he stops, I hand it. Well, that sucked. Was I wrong? Was I supposed to just keep that no matter what? Or was that just a play that just wasn't going to work no matter what the read was? That might be what it was. Uh-oh. And that almost was pick six by Buckner. The pressure getting there now. Start of the second half has been pretty good for the Colts. I mean, I feel like we just got hit by a freaking shotgun. Like, this is just happening so quickly. And Pierce is out there. Needs some blocks. Not going to happen. We gain like six. Having a bob and weave. Losing all our uh, our acceleration and whatnot. But it's a punt to start it out. Three and out. I feel like the Colts right now almost don't have an identity, right? Like they just, they're not quite a run team. They're not quite a pass team. Like what are they? Like it seems like they have two superstars that are fighting to 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 take the team's control. You know, like... Are they going to let Anthony Richardson be the guy? Is it Taylor the guy? Like, I don't know what's going on here. But it just feels like they don't know what they want to be good at. As they're like, you know, now they're running the ball, but then they just, like, they abandon it halfway, you know, in the first half. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you, but maybe it's a good thing for us. Maybe we'll actually win the game because of that. And we're not on the running back. I don't know why I thought I could, like, rush the quarterback, but I could not. And we give up, like, 20 yards there. Complete breakdown in coverage. Three for 57 for uh, Taylor with some really bad decisions. But also a pick six on a throw to Taylor. So would we be leading without those? You know, it, oh, that's not bad by us, though. Great hit. Gains 11. We almost blew that up but couldn't quite get there. What happened to his arm? He just turned into a freaking Squidward. What was that Squidward? That, that was something. Oh, it's a hell of a bait, and I can't finish it. Huge hit down to the 10. That's a good spot for the defense to get a stop, but we were there too early. We just jumped the ball, and the ball wasn't there yet, and that is absolutely a touchdown, if not for the late throw, if you want to call it that, because it worked out. As Scott's going to get out there, there's no way Clayton takes him down one-on-one. -on -one. Scott's not there. That's a touchdown, so good teamwork, as we are going to try to keep them out of the end zone here. Which would, you know, hold the lead. Gonna run the mid blitz. May even bring Petrie. Uh-oh, oh, a turn. I knew I had to stop. Who is this? Whitey. 
What the funk is going on? Jake getting the touchdown. Peyton Hillis. What the hell? He ain't even like a trucking guy. His speed's a little better than I expected it to be. I don't know what the hell's happened, but we played some dog defense just like they did here as Ford without number 15, Isaiah Rogers out there. That is a touchdown. My guy is not being stopped by no free safety. I'll tell you that much. If they didn't have that contain, he was going to outrun the whole damn squad. Read option and try to cut it back right. Couldn't gain six, though. Run game is definitely worse than before, but this is a, once again, pretty good front four. And, and when you add Leonard in there, it's not a bad run-stopping unit. As one is the loneliest number. I don't know how we didn't get that. I tried to truck him, and then it turned into a stiff arm battle. And, well, the rest is history. You know that we're in a third and four now after a fail. Not getting a single yard of that. Let's go to the play action. Boyer might be my guy. That's a bad throw, and it's going to be picked off. Ah, uh, the decision. I mean, I was running out of time. Felt like maybe we could lead that in there, and I just hope there wasn't anyone wide open that I missed. Two things. I could have hit the tight end late for the first down easily, and the other thing, the offensive line was actually holding up perfectly, but I was feeling no pressure. Oh, we're there. We're there. Good defense, though. I was feeling pressure that did not exist. The blocking was maybe the best it's ever been all season long. I know we, th I think we did have a running back blocker on that play. If I'm not, let's see how we definitely did. Um, and they only brought four. So, I mean, it makes sense. But still, even in those situations, we've sold all year long. Get out there. We just need teamwork. Murray doesn't need a team, even though the juke move forced him one way. But he could have still juke back inside. Murray stopping that play dead. They lose two, and we're going to play a little bit of main coverage, which for us is actually, believe it or not, the safer option. Let's see if Pearson can make a play here. Bull rush not going to happen. And there goes Stingley getting the ball right back. This was a tactical interception. As with the lineman in the way, Anthony Richardson's not going to get there in time. He will down to the nine. Stingley running back as fast as he can, but Anthony Richardson is a problem on those runbacks, man. He is so quick. That's why the reason why we got that touchdown uh, with the linebacker is because he was taken out of the play as we're going to take Pierce up the middle and score a walk-in touchdown, giving us the lead. It's been a battle of nobody wants to win, but we at least have the lead. Going to bait out that uh, mid-blitz, which is, you know, the blitz that is worrying. And read option. Ward out there. Not going to let Anthony Richardson move. And that will be a loss of two. The read option we've been doing, you know, 50-50 on. Sometimes it's an amazing play by us. Other times we just have our edge rusher run right past Anthony, and he's just gone. And we're late to the show at Glover. He's not going to win the double team. One-on-one, -on -one, Murray, who is absolutely on a mission in the second half of this season. Like, I'm telling you, the dude has been a goon. The tackling's been great. The positioning's been great. The hits have been hard. And we can do only so much. A great tackle by Christian Harris. Might force the punt. Fourth and three is hard. I thought, I don't know why. I thought it was the Colts player in the celebration. I'm like, bro, you just gained a yard when you needed four for the first down. What are you celebrating? The punt? It's like, I don't have to come out here. I get to sit on the bench. I'm sick of it here. As Ford will not get past them. Another read option. They read the quarterback because CJ Stroud's dangerous. And I suppose on the inside, they've blocked uh taking out our blocks pretty easily i'm gonna go with the play action it's a little tough so i mean with the press i might just take rudolph deep see if he's got it doesn't oh ford gets open last second now and there's the big play we've been looking for ford gets out of bounds safely a little nudge at the end because that guy's a douchebag and it's a massive first down on their chance to potentially win the game on a stop and now we're down the field a little bit yards haven't been great but we're doing enough to maybe win this game Going a little more of a pronounced read option, if you will. Or not a read option. Play action. I keep calling the play action read options. And that's a really good throw. Ford catching it. And a bit of a face mask to the 15. But still, first down to first down. Perfect throw. If we didn't float that over, that would have been a hell of a bait, I got to admit. Let's get a block. Can we see Boyer scoring here? Maybe, but Stroud. Oh, please, Stroud. Beautiful. I even went possession. He dropped it straight up. There is no way that Rudolph just did that. 
There is no way, dude. I can't get there. I can't. I was about to throw to one of the tight ends who were wide open, and they just came off the edges free. Could you imagine if that drop touchdown costs us the win? I'm still going to look for a shot here. Let's get a block from Pierce. I know that kind of helps open things up by having Pierce there. Got a perfect pickup. And that's really good coverage by number 23. Kenny Moore was not falling for any of that. I don't know if there was anyone open, but I just didn't see it. And we're going to kick the field goal. They've got a whole eight and a half minutes. Every score counts as Murray misses the tackle one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, but Mr. Ward, who has played pretty close to the line of scrimmage in this game, kind of instinctively uh, does not let him go. And what the hell does this mean? Oh, we know it's a wheel route. Harris, do your thing, buddy. He's still going to throw that. And why wouldn't you when linebackers get the worst animations in the history of uh, any sports game ever over the last, like, three Maddens? Maybe even more at this rate. I guess to be fair, the DB and uh, the defense animations just suck in general. And Christian Harris, one on one, can't bring him down, but gets help from Will Anderson, a gain of a one yard. All right, someone just make the game winning play, would ya? Thank you, appreciate it. Let's uh, press for. Let's press no one. It's all depressing. Uh, I think they accept this, but at the same time, this might be a, a good penalty for us. We'll see how it plays out. First down. Oh, it's third and one. I thought it was going to be like first and like uh, like second and four or something, but no, they give a straight up first down. Would have been a third and one anyway, so it's it is probably a bad situation no matter what, but there's a chance if I'm not an idiot, as Pearson does a pretty good job, but, you know, Taylor, he gains ground in a hurry. Nine yards gain. They do have all the time in the world to be going, you know, run, and whatever gets them the score is all that matters at this rate. There's no one play style that they need to play because 10 points is manageable can't get out there and nobody's gonna get out there on the receiver Pearson with the back-to-back -back sacks and then just nothing is that Christian Harris going against freaking Pierce bro and he's doing a damn good job Anthony Richardson's about to score nice shot to the knees by Christian Harris who had a wide receiver to cover which he did perfectly and then the last line of defense on the run from the QB He's ridiculous. I wouldn't trade him for anything. Send all your draft packages. I don't care. I don't want them. I don't want any trade package. I'm keeping them, and that is final. We got so many players that should not be ever covering, covering. Although we're out here. And we did stop them. Third and goal now from the six. I actually thought that was third and goal, to be fair. Let's cover those flats. Clayton backed up a little bit. No Iguanagony a little bit as well. Let's go with Pearson off the edge. Bull rush, not going to get there. Hit to the one. They have a decision, and I think the decision might be a field goal. I think you have to agree with this, right? Although, I don't know. I think I go for it. I think I'll go for a QB sneak with a big old Anthony Richardson. Reason why is because you either get it or you don't. And in theory, it turns into a way better play if they can force the safety. They go to a one-possession game with ball. You know? I think... I think the analytics tell you to go for that, but at the same time, I get it, right? You don't want to, you know, if you make the stop on defense, you, you don't need any special plays happening. Who is this guy? Why did I juke move right in front of a guy that looks like he could have taken our head off with one swing? I don't know. A run game that has been a disappearing act today has to try and win us the game. As we will actually finally get some decent blocks. Pierce trying to cut it inside. Could be a blessing in disguise. It'll be inches instead of a clear first down. As uh, the clock is ticking away, and the longer it takes for us to get first downs, but we are if we are still getting them, the worse it is for them, obviously. And then we're in the blitz. I could have maybe cut it all the way left, but that would risk the first down. At this point, we just need first downs, and we win. The read option, which has been all hit or miss today. Could always just hand it off no matter what, just to play it safe. But we're going to wait till the last second so we can get this to the two-minute warning with this fresh set of downs. And it will be a read of the quarterback, and Pierce will get another set. A fresh set of downs for us again as Boyer gets injured, saving their time. Definitely makes things interesting, without a doubt. Let's see if they can uh, stop this read option, which they are not ready for. Oh, they are last second. Wow, that's a really big play. They uh, force us to lose three yards, and on top of that, oh, Boyer. How the hell can he average... <laughs> 
100 yards per game when he can't even average any yards per game as he's going to be out and probably for the rest of the regular season. We got the fake sweep here. I don't know how many people actually believe Collins would be the recipient on this, but you never know. Oh, crap. I forgot about the cornerback. All right, I, mean, I think you kind of have to get aggressive here because the clock, you know, continuing to run really doesn't do much to them, right? Rudolph might be my man's. Maybe go a little bit deeper with this Corora from Jordan. That's a tough one. And it's an absolute dot. That makes things insanely more difficult for them now. As not only can they not give up the first down, but they also, in theory... Wow, look at Howard, how big he is. Uh, in theory, they have to stop some yardage, and that will be the game. That will be game over. Maybe we should even kneel it and just play it safe for the field goal, but Pierce is him. Let's uh, just protect that ball. And Pierce holding that right bumper last second. Trying to waste more clock, read option. More than likely going to be an automatic handoff, though. And they're breaking through. They do... Uh, yeah, you stop us. And obviously, no matter what, we go from we gotta be need to be aggressive and throw into Collins to let's run this damn ball. Looks like it's going to be a forced counter as we don't really have a, a chance to run the dive here. Let's see if he's got it. It sounds like the freaking microwave's going off. And Pierce says, screw you. I'm getting the first down. Pierce ends up with a pretty respectable game. And we win a huge divisional battle against the Colts. Which gives us the tiebreaker uh, streak series over them. Shouldn't even be running again, but whatever. We're still going to do it. And Pierce gets blasted. I really want that 100 yards for him. But yeah, that run itself was pretty stupid. So let's not do that and win the game 27-20. to 20. Colts had a lot of opportunities to win this game. We had a lot of opportunities to pull away more than we did. And, you know, it's a respectable win with a team that's a little bit more there put together. You know, we have a better quarterback as of right now. We have a better uh, running back as of right now, I would argue. Uh, we have definitely a much more athletic group of receivers. And with the injuries that the Colts have on the offensive line right now, I think we might have a better offensive line. The D-line is a win for us. Linebackers are a win for us. Corners are a win for us. Safeties are a win for us. We have a little bit better of a team, you know, not by much. D-line, I said us because Will Anderson mixed with the way the rookies are playing is better, but the Colts overalls are obviously much better. Stroud, pretty damn good performance uh, considering we threw the pick and there wasn't really much going on. Uh, you know, Anthony Richardson with the two picks definitely uh, cost them quite a bit with those turnovers. Uh, looking at the receivers, Jonathan uh, Taylor was really good. Nico Collins was pretty good. Ford had a couple of nice plays, but realistically, the pass game was limited. The pressure was there and the coverage was great. Uh, Pearson was pretty good. Murray was great. Scott had a nice pick six with a sack. That should be player of the week. Interception for Scott and Stingley, one for Norwood, and then the kicking was perfect as well. That is going to be the W against the Colts. We might even have another divisional battle. Actually, it might have been the Packers that we have next. But doing the Titans a favor as well, not only ourselves. And then Shaq Mason has an upgrade. Might even get another one. I don't know what kind of XP we're going to get because we probably just barely got over 100. So that's going to be like mid-level. But we do have that trench boost we're about to take a look at. So it is the, pa uh, the Packers... Then the Patriots, and then I don't know who the next one is. Maybe the the Jaguars? I don't know. But the Jaguars have fallen off hard as they are a 6-7 and seven team. Another solid week on the ground, and it feels like no matter well, who gives a damn. 2,500 XP. So, yeah, if we got 150, we would have got the juicer XP for the O-line. But, you know what? We still did all right. I don't know if we have any upgrades for the O-line. They're so slow to develop. It's ridiculous. Uh, and we do not. That is ridiculously bad. But it is what it is. Was Boyer fine? What the hell? Dislocated shoulder? Oh, yeah, shoulder's pretty common, actually. If it was a dislocated elbow, that's an L. But dislocated shoulder's actually, like, the most common thing. I don't know if it's just movies that lie to me, but the amount of times in a movie, like, their shoulder's dislocated and they jam it in the wall, which is how you do it, I'm pretty sure, is astronomically high. I mean, it's, like, the most tough guy, like, badass thing that they do in the movies. It's like, Ugh! and then they go back out there, you know, whatever. They're, they got a mission to do, whatever. You got to fight. I don't know. But anyways, we do win the close one against the Colts after a kind of close one against the Jets as we pulled away in the second half. But it was a close one early on. 
Now we have the Packers. I don't know what the state of the team is going to be like. They had a lot of up-and-coming, you know, star potential players. Don't know if they fully panned out or not. Patriots, you would think on paper, would be a good one for us. And then we don't even know that Week 18 matchup just yet. But all of that will be coming soon. Should be a uh, episode against the Packers tomorrow, actually. Along with maybe a Bears franchise video and a rebuild. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this one, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new. If you're not new, I really appreciate your continued support on the channel. Maybe follow me on Twitter, Jumpy Care, second channel, Picare Plays for now, Matic Content. And that is about it. Thanks for watching. I'll you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya!